if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 14 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. Uh, unsurprisingly, we thought we were going to be dropped for this game and we have been. It came just two days after the last one. We got a man sent off after four minutes and we're still able to hold on for a nil-nil draw away from home. To be fair, that's very respectable. Jim O'Brien has been banned or suspended for... A, uh, a game. Now, when is the next leg against Millwall? It's not for just a close to a week. Obviously, we played it against Tottenham in the last episode, so pretty tall order to ask us to play in that one. But we should be selected for this Walsall game, but then that makes me wonder whether we'll be selected for the second leg against Millwall or not. So I think I'd, I'd like to play the Millwall one more so than the Walsall, but we'll see what the manager says. The manager says you're playing this one, says. So we'll jump in, we'll play Walsall, hopefully get some, uh, some decent points. To be fair, Walsall are nearest in the league, aren't they? Or they were. Oh no, they've gone. They've dropped. Their form's dipped. They're down there in ninth on 33 points. We are fourth with 40 and only a point away from Scunthorpe in third, although that's still only a playoff spot. We are, in fact, nine points behind Wigan in second for that automatic promotion spot. And Bradford? Bradford are 18 points away from us. They're nine points clear at the top from Wigan. They're running away with the league title this season. That's disappointing to say the least but we're aiming for a playoff spot then with Coventry clearly by the way that the league is shaping up and hopefully we can help them get there we're playing decent football right now and we have done for a few episodes in a row now so I'll stop waffling I'll jump straight into this game against Walsall as always drop the video like if you enjoy of course and subscribe if you haven't already there will be a different kind of video coming out later on this afternoon around about 6 p.m so keep your eyes peeled for that but for now I'll, uh, I'll jump into this game Osborne, that's a great ball over the top to Tom Bradshaw. Can't quite bring it down, but he's going to get it at the second attempt. Stand it up towards the back post. That's Osborne with the header. Needed saving by Charles Cook. We played Walsall recently in the league, didn't we? But uh, I can't quite remember off the top of my head how that result won. But well, it definitely wasn't in the snow. I think this is actually my first game in the snow in the My Player. So it's going to be pretty weird. We should get an accomplishment, though. So we might be able to put some gloves on for the next time that it snows. But that first chance was uh, the first game or first chance of the game that uh, you saw a moment ago. I'm actually going to fist this up wide to Phillips. He's taken that in his stride very well indeed. I'll call for it again here. And get it, help it around the corner to uh, Vansalo into Aliou, who's the, uh, the striker playing up top of me in this one. Phillips, I'll call for it here. He's going to get it to Aliou, who will then in turn get it to me. He'll get it back to Aliou. He's had the shot. Oh, that wasn't far away either. Two chances at the beginning of this game in the opening 10 minutes or so, but still nil nil for now. Johnson, that's a nice turn into Vinslow. I should have called for that there, but didn't. Raider Johnson. Being a little bit dangerous, running near opponents like that with the ball when you're a centre-back and not got the best of dribbling. But we've still got the ball and we're working it about nicely. I'll push forward. Aliou might be able to find me. No, he's gone out wide instead to Phillips. Phillips down the right-hand side. Oh, we've gone short, have we? Oh, no. Phillips could still get the cross in. I've called for it. It's not going to come from him. Still got the ball, though. It's the most important thing. I don't know where to position myself. There are a lot of red shirts back here. We're just keeping possession, though, just to make sure that they don't get the chance to catch us on the counter. I'll call for this from Vincelo. And I will actually go that way and then fire it in there towards Morris. Morris with a shot. Draws a good save out of Etheridge. That's going to be a corner to Coventry. That was well worked again. Playing some nice football in the snow. Maybe we should play in the snow more often. See if the corner can reach me. I've called for it. It is headed my way, but it's actually Vince Lowe underneath it. Pulled down and gets the interception. And Preston will get it away for Walsall. Taylor's given that straight to me, but my tackle touch has let me down. But we've won it back off Chambers. Aliou's going for a run. He's played through there. I'll call for the ball from Vincelo. Could play me in. First touch needs to be good. It is. Shot comes in. It's a goal for Coventry. I've run straight off the pitch and had to do my celebration right there and then. But I don't care. Coventry won. Walsall nil. The first touch was crucial there. I almost tripped over my teammate there. Made a good run across. So Vincelo finds me well. First touch got it into my stride. He's stuck it out with his right foot there. That's a really impressive finish. I'm pleased with that. Just squeezed it between keeper and near post. That's fantastic. Coventry City won. Walsall nil. I think that's our ninth goal of our career to this point as well. Kent into Phillips. I'll call for this. He gave it to me before I could even call for it. But we're going to keep possession by dancing away from a couple of people here. And we'll lay it out wide to the onrushing Ryan Haynes. 
Man in the middle has been taken out there, Phillips, but we should be able to get it back inside. We have done. It's Murphy, sorry, not Phillips. Let's get this across to Aliou into Vincelot. Oh, that wasn't far away either. Chance at the beginning of the second half to make it 2-0. Not quite able to get it into that top corner, though. Really nice technique. Whipped it just wide. Bradshaw into Garate. He's going to get the turn in. No, solid tackle by Ricketts. Really well done. He's fed me. I wasn't expecting that, but we'll drill it out wide to, uh, to Murphy. Where can we go from here? We are 1-0 up, of course. We don't need to throw too many men forward. And actually, Warsaw are leaving a lot of men back. There's a transfer being confirmed, but as you can see in the top left, uh, uh, Miralem Pjanic has gone to Atletico Madrid. That's, unfortunately, a scripted transfer, which sucks. But still, we saw that transfer numerous times last year in career mode. But never mind. See if we can put away the misery of another scripted transfer by getting ourselves another goal we're getting we've gotten sorry a couple of uh, accomplishments there for dribbling past an opponent do I call for this here I'm going to oh, I could, should have drilled that into me really I've tackled the man though Aliou get it back to me again do we go for an assist now let's go for another goal and I've fired it into the side netting Taylor Mantum nice football by Walsall slick passing but is it going to lead to anything we're in stoppage time now at the end of the first, uh, second half please get their keeps he's punched it out Osborne no it's Bakayoko sorry he's destroyed the defender there he's huge look at the size of Bakayoko here comes Roman Soyuz he's just come onto the pitch as a substitute he's going to pick up Sam Mantum in the middle hopefully they aren't going to get a chance here oh it could have been a good chance if the striker had reacted to that may have been offside though Charles Cook will clear it and that should be and is full time game over here at home against uh, Walsall at the Rico stadium which well, should be the Rico but Rico's not in FIFA Coventry 1 at Walsall 0 thanks to our goal in the first half. Delighted to get the winner, to be completely honest. We had a decent game as well. And there are the black winter gloves for braving the snow. Really pleased with that game. Still 73 overall. Maybe we can push a little bit closer to 74 with some training in between this game. And hopefully that second leg against Millwall. Disappointingly, we haven't been selected for this second leg against Millwall. It's the area final second leg, so whoever wins this game will go to Wembley for the national final for the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So it's a rather important game. Please don't lose, lads. This is really, really important because I'm pretty sure we should be able to get ourselves a start for the final, so long as fixture congestion isn't an issue when the final comes about. I'm going to hit white. Oh, no! No, Ricketts got himself sent off, and we've lost the game 2-1. Oh, that's so disappointing. And now we've got Millwall next in the league as well. Oh, what is it with simulating games and getting red cards, man? That sucks. Well, I'm going to go and take out my frustrations on the training ground, and then we'll take out our frustrations again against Millwall in uh, the league this time. Throw it in the corner. I'll come short and we'll see if he'll give it to me. I've not got much space here, though. He's going to try and throw it to Fleck. But, in fact, that was Ryan Haynes, I think. And I've missed that header as well. But Vinslow's won that back. Here's Mark Antoine Fortuné in the box. Here's Fleck. Out to O'Brien. That is 1-0 Coventry. Really, really nice move. And that... Oh, no, he was offside. I've only just noticed myself. Ah, oh, killer. Killer. We overplayed it then. I thought... I did wonder why Fleck didn't have a shot. And he's just passed it off. And he's that's so tight. That's so tight. Oh, he's stuck behind the goalkeeper now. That's weird. Well, chance for 1-0 after 13, 14 minutes or so. And it hasn't come. Here's Marquis. Forward to Gregory. Gregory one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Drops it to Marquis, who fires just wide. There's Millwall's first chance of the game. Decent football from them. We passed it about nicely, but overplayed it. This time, just a couple of one-twos there. And then the shot came in. But unfortunately for Marquis, it swerved away from the target whilst it was on its way towards goal. Let's give this across there to Fleck. See where he's going to go with it. Can drive into that space. I was about to call for that just as he passed it off to O'Brien. But Phillips has made a good run from right back. Can he get a cross in? He can. It's not the best one. In fact, it may go all the way in. Wow. David Ford had to leap to punch that over the top of the net. That may have been going onto the roof, maybe onto the bar. But still, it definitely wasn't. He definitely wasn't sure. It needed dealing with. That's a decent cross as well, and that one he's dealt with as well. He's come and punched it clear, but only as far as O'Brien, who obviously put the ball into the back of the net earlier, but was offside. Murphy into Fleck. Fleck beats the man. Oh, tries to find a man in the box, though, but can't find a teammate. Away come Millwall. Ups and down the left. He's gone on a really nice run. Cross is decent as well, but Ryan Haynes gets it away. Oh, surely not. What a strike. Oh, my shit. How well did he hit that? That flew towards goal. Just first time. Bosh. 
He's hit that so hard. No wonder their keeper couldn't do anything with it but parry it over the bar for a corner. Wowzers. What a hit. Corner's coming in. Hopefully we can get it away. We have done with O'Brien. Can Fortune win that? He has done. I'm going to call for a through ball here from O'Brien, but he's kicked it straight to Abdu. Anya Dinma is going to try and get it to Cummings. Has done into Marquis. He has the shot. Was that deflected as well? It's going to be another corner to Millwall. This is a, a competitive game, to say the least. I wish I'd been involved in those Johnson's Paint Trophy games, though, because Millwall have got the bragging rights at, min at the minute because they've qualified for a, a cup final, and we haven't. John Marquis has just been sent off. I wasn't paying attention. I saw the foul get given and I went to have a swig of my bottle of water. I looked back to the screen. Referee's pulled the red card out. He's just He's gone through the back of him there. He got the ball, though. Oh, wow. Big decision. Red cards everywhere today. Two in the two simulator games we've not been involved in. And now one in the game against Millwall in the league as well. Give this to Fleck. I'll just drop short again if he needs me because he doesn't look like he's got any idea where he's going there. We'll fire that into Fortune. Good first touch, actually, into Vinslow. And wide to Murphy. Murphy dances past one, then goes down. That was questionable as to whether that was a foul or not. I think the defender got something on the ball there, but it's a free kick. It's going to be John Fleck to take it, not us. Still trying to improve my free kicks in training, though, but the free kick goes over the top of the bar. It's one of the best chances we've had in this second half. Not been the most uh, most creative of, uh, of periods, but we've still got 20 minutes to do something about that. Call for this from Morris. I'm going to fizz that through that gap there to Madison. Around the corner to Murphy. Murphy with a chance to win it for Coventry in the last 10 minutes. Lovely move. Pulled the extra defender in from that right-hand side to open up the free space. The drilled ball there, you can see... Picking the man out perfectly. Space on the overlap. Murphy with a finish. We're going to get three points in the league again. Payback of sorts, perhaps, for Millwall knocking us out of the cup. But I'm sure anybody in their right mind would take a cup final appearance and lose this game rather than win this one and lose the other one. But never mind. Three points is what we're going to get. You have to take it as it comes. And as it comes, or as it happens, 1-0 Coventry. Craig coming down the right-hand side. There's no time left, though. Surely... They're not going to get the chance here. That should be final whistle. It is. Game over. 1-0 win in this one and a 1-0 win in the first game as well. We got the winner in that one. Murphy got the winner in this one. Two games that we've played in. Two 1-0 victories. You can't complain at that. Six points for the league. Just so annoyed and frustrated that uh, we weren't involved in that second leg against Millwall. Because had we gotten this scoreline in either of the uh, the legs against Millwall, we'd have been going to a cup final later on in the year. But nevertheless, we still may be going to a cup final if we can get through it in the playoffs. Although whether the play you count the playoffs as a cup or not, I'm not sure. You do win a trophy, I suppose. So uh, you could kind of class it as a cup final. But uh, that will come towards the end of the season. But we are now, what, seven points inside the playoffs? There's still, what is there, 46 games, isn't there, in uh, in the Football League. So there's still 20 games yet to go in uh, this particular competition. So 10 episodes worth, because obviously we're not in the FA Cup or League Cup or um, Johnson's Paint Trophy anymore. So 10 more episodes, and that will be at most because we may get dropped for some because of fixture congestion. A maximum of 10 more episodes, then we will be done with this first season and looking to either A, get first team football at Middlesbrough, or B, get a move to a much better side than Coventry City. But that will be all for today's episode. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I say, keep your eyes peeled at 6pm for the video with MGH. And obviously at 8pm there will be a Wolfsburg video as well. And a stream later on tonight as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.